Greetings, I, all praise King Selassie. You can look at this as a joke. Say, you know, this, this fool is emotional. He's irrational. He can't contain himself. And yet, the media hires people to project their image. Whatever that, the, root, the, the owners of that media company happen to be, and believe me, it's fewer than few. Uh, we know that because the Rothschild's $30 trillion inclusive capitalist conference was held in one room with 40% of the world's wealth being represented. So only a few people own everything, including the militaries. And you can sit back and say, well, we don't stand a fighting chance. But that's just all in your head because it's the truth that wins. And even this has been proclaimed by our master, the Christ. And so, as I sit here, yeah, I got some emotion. Yeah, I'm angry about things, sometimes sad. And I'm willing to express that. And that doesn't make me a weak man. I know better. You know, in the end, what these oppressive people are worried about is you being influential, being listened to. And they know you have something that they don't. That's real heart, human feelings dignity and so they're saying you know we're giving our, our hirelings a script and telling them to read this and they're not showing that they really care they don't have that passion no integrity and yet here comes someone who is demonstrating these very human attributes that others that may be listening will connect with. And I'm not just speaking for myself. It could be anyone. But you see these props on the YouTube and other places. These people that are supposed to care, you know, I'll give you one example. Rusty Brand. He's supposed to care about everything American. You know, he's he's English, okay? He's English. It, it, if I went over to England and started telling the English people how to run things and you know what kind of things you know should be done, and you really think that the English people would listen to me? No, they're gonna say that's a dumb American. Another one of them stupid Americans. They've been dumbed down. See, the English are not settling for anything but the best. And in doing so, they're willing to oppress anything and everyone underneath them. And that's what they've done. You know all this racism? You know the indigenous people and the African people are looking at their situation, and they're saying, man, we got shorted. And why is that? Is that because of their neighbor in the trailer park or in the project? I'm not trying to generalize and stereotype. What I'm saying is that Poor people are blaming each other for their problems. And it's not them to blame. They are victims. They're all in it together. And they're being pushed down so that they have no else where to look but around in their immediate surroundings are saying, oh, this is my this is all the world consists of. That's all they know. 
Little did they know that this has all been part of the plan, a design and process. And that is the reason why they are on the bottom. And yet, who has paid? The English people sitting over there saying, oh, we have so much gold, let's drink some more tea. And the American people are, you know, grinning and butting heads against each other and killing each other because of this sin that was afflicted on us. I'm not talking about slave masters, I'm talking about real Americans. Those with heart, mind, and soul. And no obedience.